at 147 to kill myself to make the weight. So why not move up? Turkey Ali, Ali, Ali Sheik, if I'm not mis I'm pronouncing it correctly, is very pursuing that fight. I know you're not looking ahead, but you know the Canelo fight possibly in February. Is that something that in the back of your mind that, that, that you will take no matter what, even going up in, uh, two more weight classes? Well, my mind is, is crystal clear on one thing, and that's August 2nd, and that's Israel Magic Month. I'm not thinking about, worried about Canelo or anyone else for that matter. Uh, August 30th, the only fight that's in the back of my mind and in the front of my mind, side of my mind. So, uh, yeah, answer uh, your question. And those are the words of Terrence <clears throat> Bud Crawford as he shuts down a reporter over Canelo Talks, okay? And I have to congratulate Terrence with that slow clap. Simply because... It's too many times when fighters get bombarded with questions. And then when you get asked certain questions that deals with something not at hand, not clear and present danger, it shifts your energy. Words mean a lot. Words can activate emotions, feelings, actions, etc. Okay? And when you come up and you bring up something that is con contrary to what you're doing, it's a distraction. It's a barricade, okay? It's nothing that helps you. It's a determent. So when Terrence was like, hey, I'm not worried about anybody else but Madrimov. But what happens August, he said second, but I think he meant third, okay? Well, really second, because he'll have to weigh in at 154, and then that's exactly what he will be doing, you know, following the day after, is fighting Madrimov. Only Madrimov, not Canelo, not Charlo, not anyone else. Madrimov. And it just shows you the mindset of a champion, a mindset of a winner, a mindset on of, of a successful person that has a task at hand and he needs to get it complete. You focus 100% on that task you need to complete, not anything else. Okay. See, Terrence is taken out of what I call the Floyd Boom Money Mayweather handbook when it comes to precision focus. Okay, when they used to ask Floyd, Floyd said the same thing. Oh, um, we're not going to talk about Manny Pacquiao. Um, we're going to talk about other fighters. It's not a fighter that I'm fighting that night. I think it's disrespectful for that fighter. So I'm getting that fighter um, full focus and full um, energy. <laughs> right. And he got the job done. You know what I mean? And what we've witnessed with people that talk other people's name in their mouth, they've all been beat. Everybody to AJ, to Joshua, to uh, 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 all types of fighters have done the same shit. They have done the same thing. They've fell for the same trap. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, let's talk about a fighter that I'm not even fighting. And then they go in there and they get beat. You know, I mean, that happens so many times, too many times for comfort. Philip Hergovic is, you know, the, that, these are the latest examples of how fighters talk about, oh, well, I'll fight Joshua. What? Why are you fighting? talking about fighting Joshua? You haven't beat Dubois yet. That's like Dubois talking about, oh, man, um, Usyk and oh, Tyson Fury. And, no, why are you worried about that when you know damn well you haven't fought anyone uh, the fighter that you're supposed to be, you know, you got to handle business. And I think that's how Terrence Crawford stays sharp. See, it's more than physical conditioning. It's also mental. It's how you think and how you think, you know, you know, you, your mind thinketh your ass will follow. And I, that's exactly, and I believe in that wholeheartedly that if you focus on a fighter, you go, you're going to do better with that fighter. Because you're, you're, you're more locked in on that fighter, not another fighter in the backdrop or the subconscious of your mind. You know what I mean? And you, you, you're thinking of that fighter and you're like, OK, well, I'm fighting this fighter, though. That ain't Canelo in there. You know what I mean? And I love the mental state of Terrence Crawford. 
because that is the mindset, people, of a champion. But you guys tell me what you think of Terrence Crawford stating that he's not worried about Canelo or anyone else. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.